find the components of vector a, b. So when they're talking about the components, at least in this context, they're talking about breaking it down into, if we start at point A and we're finishing at point B, how much do we have to move in the x direction? So this is going to be essentially our change in x. And then how much do we have to move in the y direction to go from point A to point B? So this one over here is going to be our change in x. I just wrote the Greek letter delta for change in x. And then the second component is going to be our change in y. And to think about that, let's just think about what our starting and final points are, our initial and our terminal point are. So this point right over here, point A, its coordinates are 4, comma 4. And then point B, its coordinates are, let's see, its x coordinate is negative 7, comma negative 8. So let's first think about what our change in x is. And like always, I encourage you to pause the video and try to work through it on your own. Well, let's see. If we're starting at 4, and then we are, we're going from x equals 4, that's where we're starting, to x equals negative 7. So that right over there is our change in x. And there's a couple of ways you could compute that. You could say, look, we, we f finished at negative 7. We started at negative 4. You take your final point, or your, where, where you end up. So that's negative 7. And you subtract your initial point, minus 4, which is going to be equal to negative 11. The negative tells us that we decreased in x by 11. And you could see that if you could, you could just visually count the squares. You could say, look, if I'm going from 4 to negative 7, I have to go down 4 just to get back to x equals 0. And then I have to go down another 7. So I have to go to the left 11 spaces. So that's negative 11. So that's my x component, negative 11. And what is my change in y? Well, I'm going from y equals 4. In fact, I'll start at this point right over here. I'm starting at y equals 4. And I'm ending up at y is equal to, let me do that in the, that other color. So I'm starting at y is equal to 4. And I'm ending up at y is equal to negative 8. So our change in y, our change in y, was going to be my final y value, which is negative 8, minus my initial y value, which is 4 minus 4, which is equal to negative 12. So negative 12. And you could see that here. If I'm starting up here, I have to go 4 down just to get back to the x-axis. Then I have to go down another 8. So I have to go down a total of 12. And you could see something interesting that I've just set up here. You could also view this. You could view this this bigger vector, vector a b, as being constructed of this x, this vector that goes purely in the x direction, and this vector that goes purely in the y direction. If you were to add this red vector to this blue green, dark blue green vector, you would get vector a b. But we'll talk more about that in future videos.